Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to discuss the government investment schemes. Very important exams may aksar aa jati hain, right? Important schemes such as Sukanya, Samridhi, Yojana, PPF and NPS. Jis mein government of India decide karti hai rate of return, right? So very important government initiatives that we are going to discuss today. Uh, let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years. And this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts. And Bank of Baroda Scale 3 Manager, uh, uh, MSME Scale 3 Manager course is already available on bank exams today. In which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series and live doubt clearing sessions. Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check. Let me just hide my face so that you can concentrate on the content. Uh, let's start here. The name of the scheme, Sukanya Smriti Yojana. Interest rate right now is 8.2%. The tax deduction under ATC is available. Interest income is, uh, not, is not taxable. It is tax free. And the maturity period is 21 years. So this is uh, the most important parts of the Scheme, ye hi aapko yaad karna hai most of the times. There are separate videos for each of these schemes available in the course. If you want to read in depth, you can read in, uh, in depth on the course, right? So basically eligibility criteria, benefits for Sara course mein diya hua hai. But as of the moment, interest rate is most important. Maturity period, taxable, uh, it is tax free and tax deductible under section 80C. Sen senior citizen savings scheme, 8.2% payable quarterly. Interest rate, uh, it is deductible under section 80C. Interest uh, uh, income is taxable, right? Five years ka hai maturity period. National savings certificate, 7.7%, right? Uh, in me se sirf uh, public provident fund and Sukanya Sumrithi Yojana pe interest income jo hai, us pe tax nahi lagta, baki sab pe lag raha hai, thik hai. 7.7% uh, in national savings certificate, 7.5% and in uh, Kisan Vikas Patra. Uh, public Provident Fund 7.1% sabse kam hai, right? It, the interest income is not taxable. It is under Section 80C. 15 saal ka maturity period hai. Or Kisan Vikas Patra ka 6 months, 1 year, 2 year, 3 year, 5 year, depending upon the kind of instrument that you got. National Saving Certificate 5 year, 10 year and the 15 years. These are the common popular investment schemes. Employee Provident Fund 8% ka bhi chal hai uspe, uh, return, right? Uh, the interest income is taxable at the time of withdrawal or at the time of retirement. Uh, this is the, the period, okay? And the return on uh, post office monthly income scheme is 7.4% and the maturity is minimum 5 years, okay? Interest is taxable as well. So ELSS, so right now it is not that much popular. The income tax may changes are okay. Everybody is moving to the new, uh, new format income tax. Ki, so it's not very popular right now. But anyways, uh, it's not 12 to 15%. It is market linked. So you give your money to the asset management companies like Kotak, excess mutual funds, right? And they invest your money into stock market, right? So ATC K under benefit milta hai, right? And it is partially taxable. How? Rupees up to rupees 1 lakh, it is tax free. Up to rupees 1 lakh, it is tax free. Uske baad tax lagta hai. And there is a lock in period of 3 years, right? So that is all about the investment schemes. So Kanya Sabridhi Yojana 8.2%. Ye recent change hai. That is why I am teaching this to you today. So Kanya Subridhi Yojana 8.2%, maturity period 21 years, senior citizen 8.2%, national saving certificate 7.7, Kisan Vikas Patra 7.5, PPF 7.1, uh, EPF 8%, uh, post office monthly income scheme 7.4%, ELSS market linked. So latest numbers are very important for your exam if you are going to appear for the Bank of Baroda MSME scale 3 exam. The maximum amount deductible under section 80C is 1,50,000. No matter what si scheme hai. 1,50,000 is the maximum limit under section 80C. Who's eligible for senior citizen savings scheme? Uh, individuals over the age of 60 years is 
eligible for senior citizens saving scheme what is the tax benefit under national saving certificate uh, up to 1.5 lakhs under section atc is the tax benefit under uh, the national saving certificate it is same kisan vikas patra ka benefit to encourage long term financial discipline among people right and the tenure of ppf accounts it is 15 years 15 saal tak aapke paise lock ho jate hai right uh, and uh, the current annual interest rate credited to epf accounts is 8% can you claim tax deduction under section 80c for investments under pomis no you cannot post office schemes are not under section 80c what is the lock in period of elss investments it is 3 years for tax saver fd it is 5 years for elss it is 3 years so students bank of baroda msme scale 3 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes quizzes notes test series live, live doubt clearing sessions interview preparation course link to join the course is available in the description please check the description okay a uh, list uh, of our successful students who took the courses in the past all these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i am really really happy for them all these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i am really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye